Hey everyone, this is Tess and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to get the Instant Pot Duo Crisp with Ultimate Lid for a while and finally I got hold of it. So in this video, I'm going to unbox, review and cook in this amazing Instant Pot. So guys, let's get started. Here's the box, it's heavy, so first I'm going to unbox. Wow, looks super sleek and it's quite heavy. The highlight about this instant pot is the ultimate lid. So here's the ultimate lid. There's a lock. I'm going to unlock this. And let's open the lid. So I'm trying to figure out if we can detach the lid from the main pot, but it looks like it is attached to the pot. So we won't be able to separate the lid from the main pot. This is absolutely different from the other Instant Pot models. It has a different design and obviously the lid is totally unique. I said the lid is unique, right? See the magic. Oh, there are two lids. So here's the lid for pressure cooking and here is the lid for air frying. There is a red button on the top. If we click on this, we'll be able to remove the pressure cooker cover. So click on it and this comes off so we can separate the pressure cooker cover from the air fryer cover. To keep the pressure cooker cover, align this into the slot. So there is a slot at the bottom and push the cover, you will hear the locking sound. This is pretty cool. I'm totally impressed. So without a doubt, this is an ultimate lid. So keeping the pressure cooker cover is super easy. Let's take a look at the other parts. So here is the stainless steel pot. Comes with an air fry cooking rack. The capacity of this stainless steel pot is 6.5 quarts. On the back side, here is the condensation collector. We must keep the condensation collector while pressure cooking. When we do natural pressure release, it will catch all the liquid. And then we can discard the liquid and keep the collector back here. And here is the power cable on the back side. On the lid, here is the steam vent. And here is the lid handle. So we have to hold the lid like this. And there is a lock. So we need to unlock it and then open it when we do air frying or baking the hot air will release from here so here is the hot air outlet here is the control panel on the front and it has a large lcd display and this has 13 different cooking programs so let's take a look at the control panel here are the cooking programs pressure cook saute steam slow cook sous vide, yogurt, air fry, roast, broil, bake, dehydrate, proofing, and keep warm. Here are the other functions, delay start, steam release, temperature, time, and there are buttons for cancel and start. In this model, I'm finding a new cooking program that's not found in other Instant Pot models. It's proofing. So this is perfect for proofing bread, pastries, and pizzas. Let's take a look at the pressure cooker cover. So similar to other Instant Pot models, even on this one, there is float valve, anti-block shield, and on the other side, here is the steam release handle. So we can take this off, this one. So while pressure cooking, we must keep this. And here is the sealing ring. Here's the cover we should be using while air frying, baking, broiling, roasting, dehydrate and proofing. So this has the heating elements. So this is attached to the lid. So we won't be able to separate this like the pressure cooker cover. So don't try to remove it. It's attached to the lid. So here's the air fry cooking rack. It's actually has a reversible design. We can use it either way. Tall handle side up. So this way we can use this while air frying, baking, pressure cooking and steaming. 
and the other side so this is the shop handle up this side we can use it for dehydrating and broiling so this is pretty cool the review is done so now it's time to cook in this instant pot duo crisp with the ultimate lid before cooking we have to wash the stainless steel pot so i'm going to wash with soap and hot water so this is also dishwasher friendly so after cooking i'll put this in the dishwasher pressure cooker cover this is not dishwasher friendly so this has all the parts like float valve anti-block shield and the steam release handle so don't wash it in the dishwasher we have to hand wash this with hot water and soap so we can also remove the steam release handle while washing cleaning the air fryer cover so use a damp cloth like this and wipe the heating element and the main pot so this is not dishwasher friendly do not immerse this in water it has all the heating elements and the power code so use a damp cloth and then wipe the outside and also the side of the main pot while pressure cooking we must keep the steam release handle so it goes here then let's keep the cover on the lid keep the inner pot into the main pot first i'm going to use the pressure cooking setting so i place the pressure cooker cover so i'm going to make mashed potatoes so here is the peeled potatoes i'm just using three potatoes so add the potatoes to the inner pot and I'm adding one cup water. The sealing ring is already inbuilt into the cover. So let's close the lid. We have to lock the lid. And here it shows ready on the control panel. I'm going to pressure cook the potatoes. So click on pressure cook. So for mashed potatoes, I usually pressure cook the potatoes for 12 minutes. So click on time and Rotate the knob and set the time to 12 minutes. And in this instant pot, we cannot set the pressure. There is no low or high pressure. It's by default. I think by default, it's high pressure. So next, we can do the steam release. So there are three steam release mode, natural steam release, pulse steam release and quick steam release. So click on the steam release. So it will show on the display. So now it's pulse release. If you click on again, it will be quick release. And the first one is natural release. So I'm going to do the quick pressure release. So that's the third one. So click on that. So in this instant part, we have to set the steam release. If you don't set it by default, it will be natural pressure release. And then let's click on start. After clicking start, it will first preheat. So we can see the cooking status on the display. So preheating, it depends on the amount of food. So if you're cooking large quantity of food, preheating will be longer. So in this case, I've only added three potatoes and one cup water. So it shouldn't be long. It will be done in a few minutes. And after preheating, it will go into cooking mode. And after that, it will go into keep warm mode. So right now it's preheating and I can see some steam releasing from the steam vent. So now it's changed to cooking. So there's no steam release right now. And on the display, it shows do not open lid. So it's very important while cooking, do not open the lid because it's filled with pressure. If you open the lid, it can explode. So be very careful. pressure cooking has completed since I've selected quick pressure release it did a quick pressure release after pressure cooking so now we can open the lid so if you don't open the lid it will go into keep warm mode so it shows on the status bar it's in keep warm right now so I'm gonna open the lid so unlock the lid and open it the potatoes have cooked perfectly. So I'm going to mash the potatoes. There is a little bit of liquid in the pot. So using this, let's mash the potatoes. To the mashed potatoes, I'm going to add some milk and cheese. A little bit of milk just to make it creamy. I'm 
and some freshly ground pepper. Next, I'm gonna cook this in saute setting for a couple of minutes. So select saute setting. So it has different levels. So level one, 203 degrees Fahrenheit. So it will show, so use the knob and then we can change the level. So we can select the temperature for saute setting. There are six levels and time, I have set the time to 15 minutes. We can set the time up to an hour in saute setting. Even in saute setting, it will first preheat. In fact, in all the cooking programs, it will first preheat and then it will cook. And finally, it will go into keep warm mode. So this is good. So the mashed potatoes is ready. So I'm gonna turn off the saute setting, click on cancel. And I'm gonna take the inner part out of the main part, otherwise it will keep cooking. This is pretty hot, so keep it here. Creamy and cheesy mashed potatoes is ready. It smells really good. So I'm gonna transfer to a bowl. Let me taste this, it's hot. Mm, it's so creamy. I love the addition of cheese in my mashed potato, so good. So the pressure cooking and saute setting works beautifully in this instant pot. So next let's try the air fry setting. After pressure cooking, there will be some liquid in the condensation collector. So we have to discard this liquid and then keep the condensation collector back. So we have to always keep the condensation collector while pressure cooking. I'm going to roast the vegetables. So I've cut some carrots and green pepper. So before air frying, roasting, baking, broiling, dehydrating and proofing, we have to change the color. So now it has the pressure cooker color. So I'm going to change it. Remove the pressure cooker color. Here's the cover with the heating element. First, I'm going to wipe the heating element with a damp cloth. Next, I'm going to keep the inner pot into the main pot. I'm going to roast the vegetables. So we have to keep the rack into the inner pot. So this is the first time I'm going to use this. So I'm going to wash this with the soap and hot water. By the way, this is dishwasher safe. So we can keep this on the upper rack in the dishwasher. So make sure it's dry and then let's keep this into the inner pot. So for roasting, make sure to keep the tall handle side up. So this side. So I'm going to spread the veggies on the rack. Let's close the lid. So I find the lid is in locked position. So we need to unlock it otherwise it won't close. And lock it. So I'm going to select roast ferry. And I'm going to set the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to set the time to 15 minutes. And click start. It's been roasting for 10 minutes and I feel the veggies have roasted well. Even though I kept the time to 15 minutes, I don't want the veggies to be burnt. So I'm going to open the lid. So unlock the lid. So first cancel the roasting setting. Unlock the lid and open it. And yes, it has roasted well. The rack is really hot, so wear mittens. Let's take this out of the inner pot. So here are the roasted green pepper and carrots. So 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, perfectly roasted. I've tried pressure cooking, saute and roasting in the instant pot, duo crisp with the ultimate lid and I'm absolutely loving it. Obviously the number one pro is the ultimate lid. So there are no separate lids for pressure cooking and air frying. With just one lid we can do pressure cooking and air frying. 
there are 13 cooking programs and in this model there is proofing so i haven't seen proofing in any other instant pot models so we can proof our bread pastries and pizzas so i'm looking forward to try proofing in this instant pot i also love how they design the pressure cooker cover it has all the parts and the steam release handle it aligns with the steam vent that's on the top of the lid here are a few cons so the ceiling ring it's attached to the pressure cooker cover we won't be able to remove it i tried my best i don't think we can remove it so if we cook curries and stews regularly in this instant pot the color of the ceiling ring can change and we won't be able to replace this so in other instant pot models we can replace the ceiling ring next it's steam release so while pressure cooking we have to select the steam release mode either natural pressure release pulse release or quick pressure release so if you don't select it it will by default go into natural pressure release and it will take a few minutes and after pressure cooking we cannot change that i wish we had the option to change that after pressure cooking the last one is while preheating i find steam releases from the steam vent but when it starts cooking there won't be any steam release that's because in this model the steam vent it's kind of open it's on the lid in other instant pot models there is a steam release handle and we can set that to ceiling and there won't be any steam release cooking capacity is 6.5 quarts so this instant pot is only available in 6.5 quarts so we can cook up to six servings and the power consumption is 1500 watts if you're wondering what is the price for this instant pot on canadian amazon amazon.ca the price is 242.50 and this is only available in 6.5 quads on amazon.com the price is 161 so there's a sale going on right now 30 percent off the regular price is 229.99 you can also purchase this from the Instant Pot website. So instantpot.com, the price is $278. I'm also finding another model for Instant Pot Duo Crisp with Ultimate LED. So this is with Wi-Fi. So on Amazon.com, the price is $229.95. Here's my verdict. If you're looking for an instant pot with both pressure cooking and air frying settings, I would highly recommend this model. And this one has the ultimate lid. So we just need one lid for both pressure cooking and air frying. So we don't need separate lids for that. Here is the older instant pot duo crisp model. So this one comes with two separate lids. So here's the lid for air fryer. So here's the heating element on top. And here is the separate lid for pressure cooking. So we have to use this lid while pressure cooking and while air frying, roasting, baking, we have to use this lid. I do have the detailed review and cooking video for Instant Pot Duo Crisp with two separate lids. So I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. If you want a video comparing these two Instant Pot models, Instant Pot Duo Crisp with two separate lids and the Duo Crisp with the ultimate lid, do let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do a video for you guys. That's a wrap guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found this video helpful. I do have many instant pot review videos. I'll post all the links in the description below. Check that out. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more instant pot videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.